What's going on friends? When it comes to head porting, it's usually one of the last things that's thought about when it comes to performance on your motorcycle. But the truth is, doing a little bit of head porting just makes everything else you do to your bike add just that much more power. Your engine is really nothing more than just a large noisy air pump. So the more CFM or cubic feet per minute of air that we can push through it, you're going to have just that much more power by how much air you can flow through the bike. The main issue with all the stock heads is that they're mass produced. And in being mass produced, they don't take the time to go back and finish out all the little imperfections that is basically incurred through mass production. So all these little imperfections, they really start to add up. And what they add up to is a pretty great deal of horsepower loss when your heads are stock. But before we get too far into the video today, guys, please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, the reduction that your stock heads are experiencing is called volumetric efficiency. Now, the volumetric efficiency is theoretically how much air is actually filling into the cylinders versus how much is really filling into the cylinders. And you may have heard the term volumetric efficiency associated a lot with tuning because essentially in tuning that's what we're doing we're taking the theoretical amount of air that's supposed to be there and correcting it to the actual amount of air that is filling into the cylinder and with the cylinder ve in regards to tuning that's how we get our fueling right because when we know actually how much air is filling into the cylinders we're able to add the appropriate amount of fuel whether you're a dyno tuner or you're doing an auto tune with a power vision or a FP3, but that's for a whole nother video. Now, mass-produced Harley-Davidson engines, they don't exactly have the perfect volumetric efficiency. In fact, with the stock heads, these engines aren't even close to where they really should be. And now with mass production, it's gonna take some really skilled labor and a lot of time to go over every single set of heads that rolls off Harley's assembly line. And this would not only drive up the cost of production, but it'd drive the bike prices up even further than they already are. My personal opinion, for the price they charge for a Harley-Davidson, they should put some skilled labor in there, get those heads fixed, and not charge us any more for it. So today when it comes to cylinder head porting, we have several options out there. We could go ahead and buy a set of brand new cylinders that are already CNC ported, widened combustion chambers, the whole shoot and match, you name it. Or another great option is if you can find somebody that is skilled in the black art of head porting and they're able to go in and port and polish your heads manually. Now, if you're not getting a CNC port job from a qualified machine shop and you're finding somebody that's gonna be actually porting your heads manually, it is very important to make sure that they know what they're doing and they have some good references because a good port job, that can add 20% or more airflow to your motorcycle. Now, a bad port job can do just the opposite. It can reduce it by 20% or more. And not only that, it can cause some really major issues with overheating and just an overall poor running motorcycle. Now, proper head porting is almost free horsepower because you're not adding into the bike. You're actually just taking it away and cleaning up the factory job on the heads. Now, it is free, but I suggest you pay the person that does the port job if you don't end up doing it yourself. So even a stock or mildly modified engine with, say, a Stage 1 kit or a cams in it, they can benefit from a mild head porting job just as much as a full-blown race engine can. So having your heads ported this is honestly really nothing more than just a good cleanup job on the factory's mass-produced imperfections that go into your stock cylinder heads. So porting and polishing is just essentially nothing more than going in and maybe widening your exhaust ports a little bit, widening your intake ports, just kind of cleaning up the area around the intake and the exhaust valves. Now, if you want to take it a step further, they can go in and clean up all of that black powder coating that comes from the factory in there, and go ahead and port and polish that to a nice smooth finish. And what that nice smooth finish does is it gives you a much cleaner, more direct volume of air directly into the combustion chamber. And if you really want to get crazy, you can actually go out and have your combustion chamber opened up. You can get into bigger valves. When it comes to head porting, this can really just keep going. Now, one common misconception about head porting is that bigger is better. And as I mentioned, we're really just going in and cleaning up the factory imperfections. And when done properly, this is going to add about 20% airflow to your motorcycle. More airflow is more power. Because Harleys are very sensitive to intake to exhaust ratio. 
And Harleys generally run best at about 90% ratio, but the factory heads generally, they're only at about a 70% ratio. And that's why this is very important to make sure you find somebody that knows what they're doing when it comes to head porting. Now we do have a couple different options as I mentioned when it comes to ported heads. You could go out and spend the big bucks and buy a complete ported headset that'll work with the compression ratio that you're looking at. But if you're on a more mild build and you're just adding a cam or just that stage one exhaust and you're going to put it on a dyno and get it dialed in, while you have everything tore down, it's a great time to go ahead and just have those heads ported, polished a little bit, just basically cleaning up the stock head. Now, let's take a look at a dyno graph and I'll kind of show you what a mild port job can do. So just to give you guys a reference on what a mild port job can do, this is a twin cam 103 with the S&S &S HP 103 cam. The only difference in the before and after is that we did a head port job. Now, with just the camshaft installed with the stock heads, we were looking at about 94.5 horsepower and 109.1 foot-pounds of torque. Now, with the same camshaft, after the head porting job, we lost a little bit of torque at about 105 here, but our horsepower rose to 101.3. So just to show you what a little mild port and polish job on a set of heads can do with the exact same camshaft, that's pretty good investment right there. And that's not even if you went with CNC's or went ahead and had the whole combustion chamber enlarged as well. So guys, while head porting may not be a great solution for everybody out there, what head porting is going to do is it's going to allow you to get even more from the other things that you're already going to do to your bike. Whether you're putting some new pipes on, that air cleaner, getting the tune, that new set of cams, or even a big bore kit. And by looking at the dyno graph that we just saw, that kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect just with a nice little mild cleanup job on the heads. Now, a mild cleanup job on the heads, if you find somebody, probably about the cheapest you could probably get it done for from a qualified technician that knows what they're doing, is gonna be about $300. But definitely expect, expect anywhere in the neighborhood from about three to 800 bucks, just if you're using your stock heads. Now, of course, if you're gonna go out and buy another set of heads, that can be a minimum of a grand up to thousands and thousands of dollars depending on what kind of head you choose and what you're looking at doing with your motorcycle. But anyhow guys, I hope this really gave you some insight into the world of head porting and maybe if you decide to port your heads, start out with a nice little mild job while you've already got the bike apart. And as you can see, it can provide some significant improvements no matter what your setup is on your motorcycle. Now, of course, if you're getting really crazy and you wanna deck the heads or you start adding bigger valves, just make sure you you have your compression and everything in line before you start going nuts with cutting on the heads. But anyhow guys, that's all I've got for you this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Please continue to keep leaving your comments and video suggestions. I really appreciate it guys, but until next week, you guys stay safe, ride smart, dodge the cars, and I'll catch you guys next week.